there, at least during these early hours. All right. Thank you, Mike, for the update there. We'll have that uh, rollover action for you just coming up in 10 minutes right now. Alan, back to you. 6.44 is now the time the Oscars will be handed out this Sunday night. But first, AARP Magazine is giving out its awards for the best in Hollywood this year. They're called the Movies for Grown Ups Awards. And one of this year's big winners is the star of Queen, Helen Mirren. Bill Newcott is the entertainment editor for AARP Magazine. He joins us live this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Alan. How are you? I'm doing good. You know, I found it very interesting when I read this report from you guys, basically, that almost half of this year's nominees are over 50. That's true. Absolutely. And, and three of the five best actresses are over 50. Now, what does that say about the movie-going audience, I guess, right now? Because we have all this big baby boomer generation, of course. Is Hollywood paying attention now to people getting up there in years? It really is, and it's, uh, there's a lot of reasons for that. Uh, but as, as always, it comes down to chasing the dollar of, at the box office. Uh, we, uh, the l latest numbers we have is that people 30 and over buy half of all movie tickets. And to you and me, that doesn't sound like a very old audience, but to Hollywood, that's like talking dog years, you know. And uh, so that's that's just they're seeing that audience is getting older and older. Um, you know, most blockbuster movies are made for the 14, 15 year old kid, uh, but the fact is that we're not making as many 14 and 15 year old kids as we used to, and so they need to pay attention to that audience. All right, now, Bill, I take it you have seen most of these movies, and you guys are extremely impressed with Helen Mirren, huh, and the Queen. Well, you know, this is really her year. I, I don't, I don't think there's another year that another actress has sort of dominated TV and film the way the way she did, and her performance in The Queen was just absolutely mesmerizing. The way she sank herself into that character, just a really wonderful job. Uh, you're also impressed with Last King of Scotland. Last King of Scotland was our best film of the year, and in our article in ARP the magazine, uh, we feature that at the very beginning with uh, Forrest Whitaker's amazing, powerful performance. Uh, he could have been our best actor. He's just a few years too young. He's looking forward, I'm sure, to getting to be 50 years old to so win our award. <laughs> yeah, we're all looking forward to getting there. Letters yeah. from Iwo Jima, also one of your favorites. Absolutely. Clint Eastwood, you know, those two films, uh, The Flags of Our Fathers and Letters from Iwo Jima, just together, taken together, they make two of the most powerful war films I think ever made by anybody. And Clint really is at the top of his game with directing both of those. I tell you what, AARP is right on point with this next movie. It's getting a lot of buzz. Little Miss Sunshine. Little Miss Sunshine, you know, we, we our editors select the winners for our, the, we, we see the movies all year long. At the end of the year, we get together and we argue and pull each other's hair and decide who's going to win. And I have less and less influence than I used to, even though I'm the film editor for the magazine. Little Miss Sunshine was my personal pick as the best film of the year. Just absolutely hilarious, funny, touching and moving, and it says so much about interrelationships between the, the generations. Just a terrific film. You know, it, it, I, was, I was reading some of the articles here about the movies that you talk about in, in the current issue, and it's really in-depth. It's very good stuff. Give me the movie that you guys felt was just, you know, the dog of the year, so to speak. A dog of the year. Well, you know, I hadn't given that any thought. And, and, and I, the nice thing about my job is since I write for a very specific audience, uh, I'm not like your newspaper critics where I had to go out and see, see the, the real junk. You know, I, a lot of people really liked Borat, but I was one of the few people who just walked away from that movie shaking my head. Um, that'd be my personal least favorite big successful movie of the year, I guess. See, you did more than I did. You actually went to go see it. So, <laughs> there you go. Well, Bill, thank you so much. I appreciate it very much. And as you said, we'll all soon, hopefully, with any degree of luck, be members of AARP. Please. Join us. Thanks a lot. All right. Thank you so much. 648 is now the time for a full list of this year's winners. Just log on to myfoxdetroit.com. And plenty of actors have made the move from Motown to Tinseltown. And tonight we're taking a look at some of the biggest stars from our era. Area, that is. Join Thomas tonight at 1030 for his special show, Fox Beat My Hollywood. There are some familiar faces and a few new ones who have made it in Hollywood. Fox Beat My Hollywood airs tonight at 10.30, right after Fox 2 News.